Hey, welcome back to another episode of Made in Japan. This time I'm going to be making gyozas. Um, gyozas are uh, Japanese pot stickers. Gyozas, uh, gyoza, 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 gyoza. Uh, usually you can order these at any izakaya, any kind of bar. It's typical bar food, um, usually consumed with um, as an appetizer or along with a bowl of udon or ramen or anything like that, um, or a pint of beer. So let's get started. Um, okay, to start off in a clean bowl, add your pork and your other ingredients. Your shredded cabbage and your finely sliced green onions your soy sauce salt oh sorry that's sugar minced garlic and ginger and a little bit of sesame oil mix well all the ingredients for the filling and make sure you give it a good smushing and that everything's well combined. Uh, it's time to fill them. are some gyoza skins. Um, these are the thin kind. Um, back in the States, like if you go to an Asian market, uh, especially if you go to like a ch the Chinese section, you'll see wonton wrappers. Um, you can get the round ones or the square ones. Um, preferably you want to get the thin ones. Then take your finger and moisten half of it. Just the top half. And then here's the technique. Fold it in half. Fold one side in. And then using your thumb to push and crimp. And then take that in like that. And then you have a little gyoza. And then you can sit them, press them a little bit to give them a little bit of a seat. Um, this recipe makes about 20, so usually what I do is I fry some up now to eat and then I freeze the rest. So that's a great thing, and when you want to freeze them, you cook them the same way. So now I'm going to show you how to cook um, a batch. Um, incidentally, if you have frozen ones, they take a little bit longer to cook. So, FYI. Okay, to cook the gyozas, heat your pan on medium-high heat, and then add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil and swirl it to coat the bottom. Then add your gyozas and cook them until they're golden brown. This looks burnt, but it's not. It's just really bad lighting. Okay, so once they're golden brown, quickly add a quarter cup to a half cup of water and cover. And steam them for about five to eight minutes until all the water is gone, and then turn them out. Okay, moment of truth. This is what the gyozas look like when they're done. Um, pretty authentic looking. Nice. This is what you should be looking for. A nice crispy top and cooked center. Much dipping sauce. There's one teaspoon soy sauce, one teaspoon vinegar, rice wine vinegar, and half teaspoon of um, water. Let's try one. This. Dip in my sauce. Really good. Mm hmm. That's delicious. So, really simple, really easy um, homemade gyozas. It takes a little time, but um, I think it's worth it. You know, it's go going into your food, and um, it tastes good. You should try them. You should make them at home and say that, look, I made homemade gyozas.
Mm. It's really good with a sauce. I highly recommend making the sauce. It's really easy. I also like it with hot sauce, like a chili oil or something. Mm, that's really nice too. Today's episode of Emmy Made in Japan, um, this time how to make gyozas. Um, so, hope to see you guys soon. Hope all is well and take care. Bye.